good afternoon YouTube so in today's video we're going to be putting a 200 watt solar panel on the roof of the van with a 20 amp MPPT controller all from Photonic Universe we're actually going to be bolting it directly to the roof rack uh, so it's a little bit different from any other solar panel videos that we've done once we've bolted it to the roof rack we're going to have to drill three holes in the roof a uh, double entry gland for the solar panel live and neg to come through and also we're going to be running in his light bar wire uh, which is not wired up and um, we're going to run that into a separate entry gland once inside we're going to have to remove this headliner um, to, to bring the cables in and then we're going to be running them through the backs of these cupboards and into here the kit we've got, got the solar controller which is going to go down uh, you access this from the rear so the actual controller is going to be in there near the batteries and then we have a, a display monitor that is going to go up here so they can monitor everything and not have the big controller on shore so this is a kit, it's a 200 watt monocrystal panel uh, the 20 amp MPPT controller from Photonic Universe the external display so you don't have to have that on show also from photonic universe and the kit comes with the cables the solar cables and also a link cable to link from the controller to the external monitor now i've got all the feet on it's time to offer it up onto the van roof and line these up with the mesh on the roof rack test fit it and then we can start bolting down and drilling through the wires so we're working in between rain showers because the weather again is British. Uh, we're going to have to pull the van in if it don't start behaving itself so we can actually breach the roof for the cables because obviously we can't be doing that in the rain. Uh, but we've got it all lined up onto the grill. Now this, you would have to check your particular roof rack. This is a very strong mesh. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this on some cheap nasty roof racks but this is a very strong and well made roof rack with a very thick steel mesh. Uh, what we're going to do is once the bolts are dropped through on the underside will be a penny washer and then one of these big plate washers and we're going to do that 16 times this solar panel is going nowhere so those 16 bolts and washers bolted on so what we need to do now is degrease this area with thinners to put on the two cable entry glands for the light bar and the solar cables and it's raining again every time i go to drill this it rains so now we've drawn round each of the entry glands don't worry this isn't going to ruin the paintwork because we're going to run our bead of sickleflex around there and then do a secondary bead inside it um, so you get two two beads there and there and then that is really going to give it a good it's raining again I could have tidied up this morning in there and pulled it in but every time it's rained it's only rained for a short period of time so i thought to myself by the time i've tidied up i'm wasting my time and i've thought that every single time we've had a light shower this afternoon so once we've drilled the holes um we're going to be putting grommets in to stop the cables from getting cut uh, so this is a larger grommet so that's a single cable uh, this is for the light bar and then we'll be using two smaller grommets uh, for these solar cables to come through the double entry band Right, there's a break in the weather. So, hole drilled. So I'm gonna feed the cable through, put the grommet on, and then put the cable through, slide the grommet into there, leave yourself enough slack to get round and put your sticker flex on, then clamp it down. There you go, grommet's in place. Now all we need to do is run a bead of sticker flex around both of those, get them sat down and get some weight on them. There you go, so that's what we do, put a double bead, so that means you're getting you know sort of two layers of sealant around there and then all we need to do now is feed the last little bits of wire through turn them over and then we're going to get some weight on them just to make sure that they're well pressed down uh, and we get a good seal all the way around so obviously we'll come in above the cab took the roof lining down and um, drop that through and then the cables will come through uh, you can't see but we're running down the back of this cupboard all the way through the backs of the cupboards and there's a false panel that goes in here um, so now the cables can drop all the way down and into the bottom cupboard where the battery is uh, and that is where the solar controller is going to go i'll show you that shortly uh, and then we're going to run a cable back from the solar controller back up behind this false panel and then we'll run that through this wall so the external display can sit there so they can monitor the 
what solar they're getting in, if it's working, what the charging rate is and everything, without having to have that big controller on display and also without having to go right around the back of the van to view it from down there. Okay, so we're in the back cupboard now where we've dropped the wires down. Now, one thing is never ever connect your charge controller to your solar panels before you've connected your charge controller to your battery. You must always connect this to your battery first or you will damage that, especially on a hot sunny day when that's throwing loads of power down these cables. So we're now gonna run these and connect these in. It's fairly self-explanatory. I'm trying my best to get in, but it's like, oh, not great. Um, on here, you've got a picture of a solar panel. Believe it or not, that's where your solar panel cables go. Picture of a battery, believe it or not, that's where your battery cables go. Uh, this is a load, so you can connect that up to something if you should wish to, but you never do because we run everything from the leisure battery itself. So I'll get the, these connected up, battery to battery, and then solar panel to solar panel, and then we can run the wire back up to the external monitor. So there, you can see, we've now got power coming in from the solar panel because it's showing there and it's reading the battery. I'm doing my best to give you good light in here. Uh, can you see we've got, we're sat at 12.4 volts so it's charging because we're now at 12.7 and climbing. And we flip through to the solar panel setting. So we've got 14 volts coming in, 0.6 amps, which is not bad because we're getting late in the day now and there's not a great deal of sun. So what we need to do now is drop the cable for the front mounted display and plug it into here and then run it up and get that connected on and screwed up. So, yeah. Ooh, so that cable just runs back up. It's gonna go out through the wall to here. Plug into the back of there. And once that's screwed up, we'll get basically a mirror image of what's hiding in the cupboard but so you can see the display in the van and view it whenever you want. So there you go, that is now just a complete mirror image of what's hiding underneath uh, and you can flick through the settings the same to see what's going on. You can see we're now at 12.8 volts so we're still climbing. It sounds like there's an unruly child riding around on a motorbike, you're right because Alf is playing on his new toy. <laughs> trying to get a good camera angle but there you go fitted done dusted wired up hope you've enjoyed that video uh, it's just a different way of connecting a solar panel onto the roof and obviously wiring it up and showing you the uh, the systems that we use which are from photonic universe because it's good quality gear and at affordable prices so you should check out their website do need anything uh, from photonic website you can get in touch with us and we can order it in for you and have it delivered to your house anywhere in the mainland uk if you've enjoyed that video, please do subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment and all that jazz and we will see you in the next video.